This better be good, Baba. There's a plate of sausage and eggs getting cold on my kitchen table. What was so urgent, Mac? Well, we, you could have at least told us what it was about. We were under the gun trying to get Justice's campaign in gear. Well, I've been following Justice's campaign, and I have a big question to ask the esteemed councilman. When did you stop beating your wife? So, how about an answer, Justice? How about a real question, Mac? Does this guy sound like he's weaseling out of the uh, question? All we need is a simple yes or no. I'm trying to get to the truth, and a little cooperation would help. You gotta know there's a lot of loose lip around about this, Justice, right? You do know that. What the hell? You know, they say that abusive men have a history of abuse as children. Did your parents smack you around when you were a kid? Have these guys gone completely crazy? Like foxes, I think. No good can come of taking this personally. Justice, politics is a dirty game, always has been. If you can't take the heat, don't light the furnace. After all, a man in your position has to expect public scrutiny. That's right. You knew this... This wife-beating thing was going to come out sooner or later. You had to know that. So just tell us, when did you stop beating her? The question is a sham. I don't have a wife. I'm not married. I never have been. And as for me coming from an abusive childhood, neither my mother nor my father ever laid a hand on me or my sister. They didn't believe in the rod, and anyone who knows my family will tell you that. And as for these allegations about me using my late grandmother's name to further my political career, they're not only false... They are a slur on her memory. This was a woman of enormous pride and a great deal of integrity, and she would never allow anyone, including her grandson, to use her or her good name to cover up weakness or corruption, and I just got it. Oh, good. Yes. I don't. I, I know I just walked in here, but... I'm... It doesn't have to be true for people to believe it. It just has to be said. Exactly. You in the microwave. It's like the uh, guilty till proven innocent routine. It might even get them up on their feet cheering. If I had denied the allegations, then the next day's headline would have read, Councilman denies beating his wife. I would have looked guiltier than before. Right. So, what's the point? I can't win? No, no, just the opposite. But you have to know how to avoid the booby traps. Well, it takes me a moment or two when questions are coming from out of space like, like yours did. You're not going to have a moment or two when the vultures are gathering the way they did yesterday. That's enough time to sink your career. An act the two of you just put on. You hire yourself out for special occasions. <laughs> Fight fire with fire. That garbage in the newspaper today about justice was nothing short of criminal. You know, when Mac called me, Luke and Laura were in the middle of stopping me from going after this newspaper editor with my bare hands. Only because strangling somebody in public looks real bad on 6 o'clock news. <laughs> well, can't look any worse than being picked apart by those reporters like I was at that so-called news conference yesterday. And who am I kidding? I have no one to blame for what was printed but myself. I just didn't handle those questions very well. I, I was too tied to that prepared statement. Justice, you got burned because you're not used to being in the hot seat. Uh, I mean, you're used to fairly respectful treatment. That's history. For the next 90 days until the recall election, consider yourself in a battle zone. Well, how do I prevent a repeat of that bloodletting of yesterday? Well, for one thing, you keep answering the questions the way you answered Mac today, with dignity and authority. Your words and intentions were simple and clear. They cut right to the heart of the matter. It was very impressive, particularly the way you handled that slam at Mary May. That was such an obvious, cheap shot. Oh, well, that's just the beginning. I mean, the attacks and the smears are going to start coming at you fast and furious. Your opponents will see to that. They're going to question everything. You know, they'll question your integrity, your sanity, your choice in ties. And, of course, they will question your loved ones. But you can handle it. We're right behind you, and we'll practice with you. Ooh, we'll do more than that. What have you got in mind now? The idea is to get there first, to dig up everything in your life, past and present, that could potentially draw fire, including the good stuff, which could look bad, given the wrong spin. Huh. Call it Operation Be Prepared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well... Look, how does anyone come out looking good? I mean, you could put spin on my breakfast cereal. Uh, counselor, I was going to ask you about that. Why is it that all the uh, school kids in your district 
Eat nothing but high cholesterol diets. Justice, don't I want to start. I want to start today, right now. I'm going to help you. All right, that'll be fine. Come on, between Felicia and I, we can cover all the bases. What do you say, Justice? <laughs> Laura makes the decisions. Oh, we can use all the help we can get. And by the way, I love Operation Be Prepared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so vis-a-vis -vis operation be prepared. Uh, start with the uh, base, uh, home base thing, like uh, stick with, you know, your connection to the Quartermains, um, your your father's history, etc., etc., etc. It's all public record. Oh, well, I mean, that's your version of it. We just have to uh, rattle out some of the skeletons. <laughs> Believe me, there are no more left. As far as you know. <laughs> and I would be the one to know. Look, they're just aren't any deep, dark secrets. Well, then uh, Mac and Felicia will come up with some, along with some sound bites, to counteract them, and so you'll have some really tough stuff to talk back to any questions that are hurled at you. Okay, now wait a minute. Wait a minute. I haven't agreed to this yet. Let me get this straight. I would have a team of professional detectives whose sole job is to think like the enemy. Right, to pull the rug out from under you before the enemy does. You got it. You're hired. Operation be prepared. <laughs> Justice, that's the thing about editorial. See, it's just one person's opinion with no obligation to be objective. No, man, the world is full of too many damn pundits. Crammed with experts. Well, I think you should respond to it. This is so cool when this happens. It blows me away. <laughs> oh, hi. What happened? Not more than five minutes ago, I was thinking to myself, I should call Aunt Bob. And there you are. <laughs> Must be that great minds thing, huh? Guess so. What's on yours? Mm, chores. Chores? Mm, around the brownstone. <laughs> hey, do you need anything done? Why? Is this you volunteering? Well, I could okay. use a few extra bucks. You know, who couldn't? <laughs> Oh, I see. Uh, saving up for something? Mm, sorta. Oh. Well, to tell you the truth, when it comes to chores, I really can't think of anything, but I'd be very happy to float you alone. Oh, no. I mean, no. I didn't mean that. It's, it's not a big deal. No, really, no problem. I'd like to. Really? Sure. About, uh, ten bucks. Ten bucks is great. Thanks. How are you doing, Emily? Oh, I'm good. Uh, it's a little weird around the house, you know, because of Jason and everything, but... Well, fortunately, weird is normal. I'm just joking. <laughs> You're never going to believe what happened yesterday. Jason actually rode his motorcycle into the den through the French doors and didn't even care that everyone was fit to be tied. I mean, is he ever going to get any better? Well, physically, he'll probably be stronger and better than he's ever been before, but if you're asking me if he's ever going to be the same Jason that you used to know, I wouldn't count on that. Well, I guess the only thing to do now is just learn to accept who he is now. That sounds like a good plan. Well, uh, tell my dad that we're going to be in his office. Sure thing. Hey, thanks for the loan again. Anytime. Okay. Well, this must be my lucky day. First my favorite son, now my favorite sister. What brings you here? Who says I need a reason? You don't, usually. And I don't need one now. I guess I just needed a dose of my big brother. What's wrong? Why does something have to be wrong, Luke? You know? I mean, we just haven't had any one-on-one -on -one time alone together lately. I thought maybe, you know, we could just, uh, catch up. Don't yank my chain, Barbara Jean. I know this look. Now, are you gonna waste our time, what little time we have, by making me drag it out of you? Or are you gonna tell me what's on you? I don't mean to sound grateful or bratty or anything, but ten bucks, I mean, that's not gonna help a whole lot. Well... Still, it, it was really nice of her to give it to you without even asking what you needed it for. That's true. Lucky, I'm... I'm really sorry about all this. Thanks. 
I know it's not a lot, but I've been saving my allowance, and I've got $50 you can have. You mean it? I don't want to see you get beat up or anything, and if I can help, I want to. That's really nice of you, Emily. Well, we're friends, right? Right. Which, which, is, which is why I want you to understand something. Okay? Ordinarily, I would never take your money away from you. All right, it's just that right now I'm, I'm not really in the position to say no. Great, then it's settled. How much more do you need? Yeah, you don't want to know. It's a lot. How much is that? Well, uh, I need enough to get back in the game, first of all. And then once I'm in, I need to win enough to pay back what I borrowed from the backpacks. And I have to do all this before my parents figure out what's going on. That's assuming you will win if you get back in the game. I mean, what happens if you lose again? Emily, never say that, okay? That is the worst thing you can say to a player. What? Say something real? No, throw all kinds of negative thinking into the air. Okay, well, the, one of the first things you learn is to stay positive. Okay, and believe in yourself, even when you've hit a slide. I, man, it's already hard enough. Jeez, I'm sorry. Relax. Listen to me. Cards are my thing, okay? I'm good at them. I just, I just hit a bad streak. That's all. You know, it happens. I just need to... Right with it, till the wind changes. You make it sound so logical. I mean, and it's not. It... Maybe I just don't get it. I don't understand. What's not to get? <laughs> well, look, the way I see it, it would be so much easier to just go to your parents, tell them the problem, and let them I mean, help you. No, you, you don't... what parents are for? You don't understand I mean... what you're talking about. Okay, when I lost big the first time, I went to my dad. You know what he did? He got all over my case about, about using my head and about thinking my way out of my own problems. Okay, he thinks I'm smart. And he'd be very disappointed in me if I didn't, you know, if I, if I didn't solve this. So I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, I swear. How long have you been having this dream? Over the past couple of weeks. Three, maybe four times. But it's really weird, Luke, because I've never had recurring dreams before. Certainly never one as unsettling as this. You described a lot of sights and sounds. Do you know what any of them mean? No. It makes no sense to me at all. Well, what about the feeling? What's the feeling of the dream? It's not good. So I wake up shaken and afraid. And maybe that's just because I don't understand what the dream is all about. What do you know about dream interpretation? Squat. I usually dream about trains going through tunnels and hula girls in humid caves. Hello, Mr. Freud. Tony thinks it's about BJ. Makes sense. Sure. But if I accept that as reasonable and probably true, then why won't it go away? Maybe that's a question for Doc Shrink. That's what Tony says. Closure. I thought I had it. But if I don't, and if I never did, and if that's what the dream is all about, then how do I find it? Where? 